Max, my final question for you is in terms of staying positive while job search, because we know that finding a job, it's a full time job. And I tell my clients, don't be in front of the computer 24 seven, have a schedule, maybe in the Mondays mornings, you apply for a job in the afternoon, you do content creation, maybe Tuesday, you go out for a hike or for a walking and in the afternoon, you work on your interview skills. So what tips you have in terms of staying positive during job search? Yeah, so the average job search takes about six months, up to six months uh, from what I've read. Uh, if you're a new grad, it may take longer, which it did for me. It took me 11 months to get my first job at the university. Mm -hmm. So it's very hard to stay positive uh, when the job search is that long, especially when you have a dwindling bank account. Yes. Uh, so in terms of getting advice and staying positive, I think the best way to stay positive is to just take action. Mm -hmm. uh, just spend a couple... Uh, hours applying for jobs, uh, do some networking uh, and then build, re yeah, build relationships through networking. Yeah. Again, uh, you don't want to focus all your day in the job search because that's very stressful. Like yeah. focus on some hobbies as well, uh, because you do need that mental break. Uh, but for me personally, if you are feeling down and out in the job search, uh, my recommendation is that if you haven't gotten anything in a few months, maybe it's time to get some expertise. Uh, yeah. now you don't have to hire a career coach if, uh, there are, budget constraints I completely understand that if you're unemployed there are free resources yes. check your local library uh i think they have uh, resources in terms of resume writing uh they may be able to give you feedback or even like when you network with recruiters see if they have some time to take a look at your resume and give you some feedback yeah. that way uh but overall i think to stay positive uh stay consistent with it uh, apply online uh, make a couple contacts every every day uh and then if you're not getting the results you're looking for in, in a few months then maybe get some help to improve your strategy. Yeah. But as long as you keep pushing and keep taking action, eventually something will hit. Yeah. I've worked with, but well, I, I didn't work with, I mean, I knew uh, people at my university mm -hmm. uh, and a few things happened. They gave up too soon and then they went back to school, spending more money, getting more in debt. Uh, or they ended up just taking any job because they were fed up, uh, not the job that they wanted in terms mm -hmm. of their field. Uh, so they ended up just doing something completely different just to get some money. Uh, I personally think like, if you stay the course, uh, you will get what you want. But you, again, you have to take action to make it happen. I would say uh, taking survival job or transition job, it also it's a networking. You're getting new skills. And again, it doesn't mean that this is going to be your full time job. You know, you can go do and then in, when you come home, you can do the job search other areas so that your mind is always uh, uh, busy networking, getting new skills. Yes. Those are great tips. Thank you, Max. And with that, my interview with you comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation, very practical tips. And I hope the audience will implement some of the tips uh, you mentioned. So again, if you have any other tips, leave them below. And tune in next time for another great guest I'm preparing for you guys. Again, thank you, Max. And hope we can meet in Toronto or in here one day. Bye, everyone. Sounds good. Sounds good.